Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jacqueline and in this video, I will be showing you how I created this look with Rare Beauty products that I bought recently and how I created the look also using uh, one extra product that I was not going to use from the Wet n Wild Blooming. You will see how I use that. So yeah, keep on watching if you want to see how I created this look. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to show you the products that I bought from Rare Beauty and their packaging. Just FYI, I've used them before, so I kept the packaging so I could show how it came. But I've used the products and the brush, so just saying. So I got the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 uh, Mist. So it's a... Uh, Mist that hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes the skin. So it's in this packaging. And this is how it looks. Let's see if I can do this fast. Like I said, I've used it. So you can see there. It came up all the way to the top. So before you use it, you have to shake it. And then you can use it. So we're going to be using this in this video obviously um i also got the liquid touch brightening concealer and this is the packaging and then a girl from sephora helped me out to get the shade um because i didn't know my shade i just used a shade that i had from a little sample from dior and my shade number is 200c and i'll show you how it looks this is a concealer and that's how it looks Ta -da! okay so now we're gonna you we're gonna sh i'm gonna show you the always an optimist uh pore diffusing primer and i really like this one because my skin is really oily which i don't mind because i think i'll guess i don't know that's just my skin uh but this usually helps with the shiny. You'll see it once I put it on. Um, and this is how that looks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So cute. So, what else? I also got a soft pinch matte liquid blush in the shade Love. And we'll be using, I'll be using this as a blush, a lip, and an eyeshadow. So, I'll show you how this comes. And, ta-da! That's the shade. Uh, I also got the mini, the mini one. The Perfect Strokes Mascara Volume Universal in black. And this is the packaging. So I'll show you how it comes out. It's a mini one, so there's a bigger one, but this is a tiny version. So and then I really wanted a brush because they look really pretty and fancy. And if I'm gonna get the concealer and stuff, I might as well get at least one brush. So I, um the girl from Sephora helped me out. Uh, and she said this one was the best one if I was going to get one brush from all the I think she has five brushes in her um, Rare Beauty company so it's a liquid touch brush foundation and again I used it before I just wanted to put it in the packaging so you could see how it comes out and then it has a little protective thing obviously so you have to take it off when you're about to use it. So that's how that looks. Look at that. So pretty. Mm -hmm. And I like this. I don't know if anyone paid attention to the packaging. But let me see if I can see the other ones. Um, really, really quick. The cool thing is that she actually put like little faces. So for this one, this was the soft pinch blush packaging. 
So for this one, she had like a little face that shows you again. It's kind of blurry, but you see how it has a little face. So it shows you it's for the face. Or for example, for the mascara part, it shows you little eyes. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. And it's cruelty and vegan free. Even better. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the uh, pore diffusing primer. Nice. And I'll put a pump. Yeah, a pump. And I'll put that all over my face and my eyelids. Uh, because my face is oily, so when I put stuff on my eyelids, and if I don't put a primer, that's really good. Uh, my makeup does not last. So I'm gonna put it on like this. I should have put moisturizer, but oh well. We're already putting the primer. It's fine. So that's the primer. It's really smooth when you put it on. Uh, my face is still a little shiny, but not as much as before. I don't know if you can see it on my cheeks. So obviously my forehead's still a little shiny, but we're gonna go with it. It's fine. So that's the primer. Again, it's called Pore Diffusing Primer. And now we're gonna go with the concealer. So um this is a cool wand. So let me see if I can show it to you. Ta-da! 360 of the ones it's pretty cool and i usually don't use it f um what i'm trying to say is like i don't usually use a lot of concealer and this is cool because you don't need a lot of product i'll show you so a dot right here and it's cool because it has like a little edge so you can go to the corners without hurting your eyeball so I think it looks weird but it'll make sense <laughs> and we're gonna put that back on and we're gonna use a brush it works well it's just my eyes sometimes they're a little weird so I'm gonna go with the brush and then if I see that it's a little cakey we didn't blend well the product works well it's just my skin's a little <laughs> sometimes so if it doesn't work out i'm just gonna use my fingers afterwards and the brush is really soft whoa i need to guess So I don't know if you can see a difference, but I have really dark under circles and this is helping it out. I should put more. I might. Just give me a second. Ta-da! Okay, so just blend this other one. I usually don't blend it like this, but since I already blended the other eyeball like this, I'm gonna do it this way on this side too, so it looks even. Ta-da! It's so soft. Okay. I know it looks a little white, but I promise it's my shade. <laughs> okay, so. That is my concealer, and we're gonna go to the next step. So, we're gonna use the blush. Ooh. We're gonna use a blush, and for this one, <laughs> I did try to make this video before, and it did not go well with the blush because I 
I had heard that you don't need a lot of blush, but I thought, eh, let's put a little bit more blush. That was not good. So, for the blush, that's how it comes out. That's the atmosphere. It's pretty cool. Hold on. So that's how the applicator looks. It's pretty nice. Um, it's kind of like a red brown. So what I'm gonna do, I took a little bit off because that was a little bit too much. So I'm put a little bit on my eyelid, like that. And then a little bit, wait, hold on. <laughs> like that on my eyelid and I'm going to use one of my brushes for the eyelids and I'm gonna blend it That looks nice. I think it looks nice. Okay, let me blend the other one. I personally think it looks nice. Yeah, you can definitely see it. So. Like I said, I'm going to use it on my lips, my cheeks, and my eyeballs. <laughs> Not my eyeballs, my eyelids. Okay. So, I know that I guess I'm doing this for Rare Beauty, but um, I might add some shimmer on my eyelids from the Blooming Wet n Wild palette, just because it needs a little bit of shimmer. But now we're going to go with the blush on the cheeks. You don't need a lot. I'm scared. <laughs> there. There you go. See? Not a lot. And then I'll show you um, how it's going to blend. So I'm going to use the blush for the concealer foundation. And I'm just going to blend the blush. I might a lot of no, I'm not gonna add more because then it's gonna go bad. You know what? I might. But you can definitely see. I can see it. I don't know if you can. But you know what? Just a little bit more. Not too much. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> okay. Let's just blend it. Oh my god. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. <laughs> that's not too bad. So you, I think you can definitely see it now. So that's with one. That's with twos. So I think you can see it. So I'm gonna blend this out. And then I'm just going to add some on my nose. Don't ask me why. I've seen this on TikToks. And then a little bit on my forehead, even though I don't really think you can be able to see anything of the blush on my forehead, but it's cool. Okay. So, like I said, I want to add a little bit of Glitter, I know this is a rare beauty video, but I really feel that I need some glitter, so I'm gonna go with the Wet n Wild Blooming Palette. And I'm gonna use this shade right here. And I'm gonna use my ring finger right here. And use that. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. You can see it right there. And I'm gonna put it on the middle. Yeah, 
need glitter. Oh my gosh. Okay. Very nice. A little, a little bit more. Okay, I can definitely see the glitter. That's the eyelids. We've done the cheeks. And then now we're gonna finish the, where's the mascara? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna finish the eyes so we can go to the lips and just set the makeup. So this is a mascara. Take in mind, this is a mini version. So obviously we get the fuller version, the fuller, the bigger version. Uh, the normal size mascara, obviously this is going to be, this part's going to be bigger and it's going to look different. So, that's the mascara. I like the mascara because my eye, eyelashes are really, they go down with other mascaras. And I like that, it gives it volume. So... Yeah. And we're going to use eyes. Done. See? Can you see it? <laughs> I hope you can. Um, but yeah, we're done with the eyes. And we're gonna go with the lips. So I am gonna try to do a really, I don't know how to say it, but like really soft Korean kind of lip thing. I'm gonna see if I can do it. But yeah, I'm gonna use a brush to soften it so it doesn't look like blush on my lips. So I'm gonna put a little bit. So you see, that's, that's a lot, which is nice, but we're gonna blend it with the brush to soften. Okay, so I might be wrong, but it kind of looks like my lip color. Probably wrong. I don't know. So it looks soft. The last time that I tried it, I did not use the brush and it looked like a lot. So it looks nice in my perception. So now we're just going to set it and we're going to use the, what's this called again? The always an optimist for one mist. So we're gonna use it to set it and we will be done with this makeup look. Ah, feels nice. <laughs> and it doesn't smell bad, it smells really nice. So we're gonna set it and we will be done with the makeup look. It's still a little wet because of the setting spray but this is the final look like I said I used the majority Arbor Beauty and the only thing that I did add just because I wanted the glitter was the Wet n Wild pigment palette from the Blooming collection and I used the shade right here so this is the final look 
Let me know what you think and if you have tried any of Rare Beauty's products and what's your favorite. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and did I say share? Share if you can or if you want. I appreciate it. And yeah, don't forget to um, share in the comments down below what's your favorite Rare Beauty product, if you've tried it, or if you haven't tried it yet, what would you like to try? And yeah, that is all for this video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.